is racing one mile. Field of 10, there are no changes. Number one is Miss Cash, owned by Larry Braley and Dean Gillespie of Ohio. Dean Gillespie drives. Number two, BJ's Retirement, owned by Edgar Jennings of New Lebanon for Jeff Fout. Three is Satin Angel, owned by Gene and Margaret Fairbanks of Bloomingburg, Jerry Roberts. Uh. Four is Hazel Dell, owned by Paul Estridge of Indiana with Mel Turcott. Number five, Ain't She Cool? Herb Spearman, the owner, Mike Spearman, the driver. Number six, Scooting Hen, owned by Dave Warnstaff of Ashley Del Miller. Seven is Bikini Bird, laced by Craig Parker of Columbus, Gary D. Board getting the call. Number eight is Good to Move, owned by Francis Hammond, Andrew Roberts of Kentucky, Phil Siebel drives. Nine is Kate Kate, up with the clocks of Washington Courthouse, Keith Haynes at the bike. And the ten, Jory, owned by Warren Long of South Charleston, Eric Lentford in the sulky. One play show perfected trifecta. Gates wings into the back stretch. There they go. And they're off. Satin Angel is first to leave from the inside. Miss Cash off the rail. From mid track, it's Hazel Dell. From the inside fourth, BJ's retirement from the outside five. Here comes Bikini Bird. To the outside and racing is sixth. It's Kate Kate. As they swing into the first turn. Then comes Good to Move. Maybe the first quarter mile marker, and with the lead, Satin Angel leads by two. Miss Cash on the inside is second. Bikini Bird is caught uncovered third, reaching that first quarter in 28 and two thirds. With cover now, good to move is racing a fourth. BJ's retirement is fifth. Hazel Dell racing sixth. Then comes Jory seventh. Along the rail eighth, Ain't She Cool to the outside ninth. Scootin' Hen and the uh, trailer is Kate Kate. Racing into the clubhouse turn, and Roberts has Satin Angel on the front determined not to give up the lead. The outside Bikini Bird is looking for that seat as racing is second in the pocket and third as they reach the half Miss Cash. First half, 58 and two. Off the turn down the back stretch out of the outside. Bikini Bird now puts a nose in front and takes a lead. Inside Satin Angel continues to race second now to the outside and three. Good to move, Miss Cash is buried fourth on the rail. Three by to the outside, five comes Hazel Dell. And further outside, it's Kate Kate. The field begins to shuffle now as they near the three-quarter mile marker. Out of the outside, Bikini Bird has been parked the entire mile. She now clears to take the lead by three. Three-quarters, 128 and three-fifths. And it's the seven-horse, Bikini Bird, with a lead here. Out of the outside, Kate Kate swinging wide and is closing quickly. And further outside, Scootin' Hen now into the picture with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And on the front... With the lead, Bikini Bird, but on the outside, Kate, Kate, a 35 to one shot, and she'll take the lead as they move into deep stretch. It's Kate, Kate, a big upset here. Bikini Bird is a game second. It'll be tight for show. Race one now official. Nine seven perfected paying eight hundred thirty-four dollars eighty cents. That's eight thirty-four forty. Trifecta nine seven six five thousand nine hundred. Fifty-two dollars even. Fifty-nine fifty-two. Introducing the official winner of the first race at 35 to 1 from the far outside, number 9, Kate Kate. She's a three year old daughter of Noble Land Sam from Sharon Kate over the Clarks of Washington Courthouse, Salvia Long, the uh, trainer, and nicely handled tonight by Keith Haynes. Kate Kate, in only her second career start, takes a mark of two minutes and four fifths from off the back end. The complete order finish, the one Miss Cash finishing eight, two, six, one, and a four. Upcoming a second race, scratch the 10 horse, glutted.